Welcome back to Hidden Hollow Lot. Today we are going to start doing something that needs to be done. We're going to try a little bit harder this year than we did last year. And look at my floors. This loft needs to be cleaned out. I haven't done it lately. I'm going to clean it out now. When I'm done with that, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to try to build me some nest boxes. Nothing fancy like I used to have. Something plain and simple. Uh, something I can use. I'm going to clean all these perches off. Then I'm going to scrape the whole floor. I'm going to shovel it all in. In my trash can. I'm going to take it down where I usually dump this stuff. And I'm going to dump it here in the yard. That's what I got going on here today. And I'm going to put some Lexan. Some clear Lexan over top of the windows. Keep it a little warm in here. I will shut that window and lock it. And I'll shut this window and lock it as well. Right here. Try to maintain some heat. I'm going to run a cord in here. I'm going to hook my light back up. And we're going to see what we can get going. So stay tuned. We're going to do this today. And I'll get right back with you. Okay, we're back. See the floors? See the floors? That's my grit, little grit bucket. I know, it's not 100%. It's not as clean as I would like it. Not as clean as they would like it. But, couldn't find my broom. I'll show you what I did find. That much, that much pigeon crap. That much pigeon crap. <sighs> That's a lot. That's a lot of shit. <coughs> Isn't it? Well, if you know me by now, you know that I build a lot of things. Whew. I'm sure you've seen the nest boxes I built back in the day. You've seen the uh, release boxes I built back in the day. You've seen stove covers. You've seen Christmas hangers. You've seen a little bit of everything. I built a bunch of stuff. What I always like to do is save money. And this is what I got going on. You see this big? This was a, uh, was a pallet that was brought in here. Actually, he held our dog kennels, just like that. See the stand that held the dog kennels? Well, I cut it down, cut that one down, I'm using it. I had two of them. This one, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> I cut it down because I was gonna throw it in my fire. But I think I'm gonna do something else. Hmm. So we're gonna see today if we can build something for less. Excuse the mess, but I got so much stuff around here. So what I'm tending to do, see when I built the fence, that fence behind there, that fence, this fence, when I built this, we had somebody come in and build this fence, and I've had to replace the, repair the gates, because they didn't know what the crap they were doing when they built gates, it's crazy, but when I built this fence, I had extra pieces left over, so as you can see, I have everything from dog kennels, windows, dog kennels, plastic barrels, I've got metal tin, I got my ramps, I got ramps for my four wheeler. I got some nest boxes down there. And some saw horses and this John Deere. Somebody gave me a while back, it's for sale. But anyway, see all these? See these fence panels? These fence panels, I'm already going over to my head, are gonna be my new nesting boxes. How many am I gonna make? I'm probably gonna make eight all together. And they're gonna be nothing fancy. They're gonna be durable and they're gonna be usable. And then I'm going to get my dog food bowls I'm going to put in there because I get them at a Dollar Tree for a dollar. Used to be a dollar, now it's a dollar and a quarter for everything. But I'm going to get my dog, my dog a bear bowls. Whew, winded. And uh, put them in there too. So if you stick with me, I'm going to come up with an idea. I'm going to pull my saw out. And I'm going to cut these down. I'm going to use these panels to build this year's nest boxes. Now... It's hard for me to keep track of these birds. A lot of times when I come into the loft, they jump off the loft. I'm not trying to figure out who's the mama, who's the daddy. I could care less. These are my personal flying birds. And maybe one day I'll go back and build some really nice boxes again where I can put them in there and shut the door and have mated pairs like a lot of you guys do. But it's not now. I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but for right now, it's not going to happen. It might happen later. I might come back in here later on. And build some nice little boxes like I had before before I had to burn everything down when uh that sickness got into my loft was it the year before last 
Yeah, it was a bad year for me. I haven't really recovered from that. But anyway, I hope you all enjoy watching. And I will say I appreciate all you guys watching my videos. I did just break 5,000 subscribers, which I think is crazy. But I noticed that my pigeon videos get a whole lot more views. So we're going to do that today. Like I said, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to look at these panels. I'm going to come up with a design. I'm going to start building them, and I'm going to take you through the process. And hopefully in the next couple hours, I'll have them done so they can start using them, and I can get on to other things. I've got a lot of projects. But anyway, for now, you all guys stick, stay around and stay tuned. Phew, boy. Get the idea yet? That's the first ones. This is going to be the second ones. I'm getting ready to go out there and cut another picket panel down for the top. Okay, I got brace here, got brace here. I'll split these off into 18 inches. So there's going to be four on each level. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm going to make dividers. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do for these guys. Ooh, look at that big red. I think it's the one I got from Daryl. Something living up in there. I don't know. Do I like it? No. But so far, I put braces underneath to support the other side. Braces here. I used some scrap 4x4 posts that I had down there. I believe this is the one that came down the other day and hit me in the head. I was messing with the chickens down there. And it slid down. <clears throat> slid down on the building and came across my forehead about knocking me slap out. So now what? Cut you up. Now you're going to be cut up. But that's what I got going on so far. We are moving right along. Like I said, this is not going to be fancy. I mean, no matter how fancy you make it, you know they make a mess of everything. So what better to have than a nest box that will last through the season and was all said and done and destroyed you know what I mean? Destroyed. Destroyed. Just throw it in the fire pit. Burn it. Start all over next year. Who says the only thing I'll be here next year? That's why I'm doing it temporarily. Um, we are looking for houses in Ohio right now. The wife wants to move. And we're looking for houses with land. We found one, but then we had the house inspection. And it was not worth it. Everything you said, everything in the house needed to be fixed. And we're not looking for that. We're looking for a decent little house. Even though I had a big barn, really big building in it, and some property, the house, we need to live in the house. So that comes first. And that's what stopped that. But anyway, I'm going to go out here now. I'm going to cut down another one of these panels for the top. Uh, make me some more braces. I may get a big one down here, one up there. And I'll put some sides and some dividers on it. I have a really good idea for that. So stay tuned, we're getting there, and I think these guys will be happy. Woo boy, it's cold out here. There's a size, eight nest boxes. It's not the prettiest thing out there. There's a couple things I could have done different, but I'm trying to get it done and using the materials around the yard. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Starting to get cold out here. I'm calling for snow out here in West Virginia. Everyone's got a box, basically about 14 and a half tall by 18 wide. I'm gonna go down here and get my bowls, get ready to put them in here. Then we'll go out in the front yard before it gets dark. Rake up, rake up a bunch of pine needles. Rake up a bunch of pine needles. And then, and then I'm gonna hook up my power out here and I'm gonna let these guys do what they do. Um, like my buddy John would say, do what you do, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Give me a few more minutes, and we will finish this video up. We'll finish it up. Uh, thanks for watching so far, and I'll talk to you in a minute. And we're back for the final installment for the day. Shut the window. Shut the window. Keep the draft out. I have a few birds... Still don't want to come in. They'll be in a minute. And I shut the window back here as well. So there'll be no cross draft. When these guys come in, that I can shut the main door. But I want to show you what's going on inside. And this is inside. 
my breathing's been a little screwed up today. I don't know if it's because of working the loft, but I was wearing a face mask trying to keep my face to where I didn't drink, didn't breathe too much dust. But as you can see, most of the pigeons are in here. What we've done today and accomplished today is building an eight nest box nest box. As you can see, in each nest box is a nest bolt. These are very cheap. They clean out real easy. This is made out of fence panels. Fence panel on top, fence panel in the middle, fence panel in the bottom. I used to cut off fence sections for the ends, both ends. And then I took a panel, I took a panel, just one little picket, all the way across, all the way across, keep things from falling out. And you know what I mean by that. Whew. Everybody's got food, everybody's got water. I'm getting ready to put them down for a nap. See what they're gonna do. I figured, well, I got a bunch of uh, pine needles out of the yard, put them over here next to the grit. Here comes the birds back in. They should come on back in here. They'll be back in. I put the grit down there, it's fresh. They seem to like the grit. When I get out of here, I guess everybody will go back to normal. Come on in here. <clears throat> still got my two whites, and I still got my four white crosses. One, two, three, three, and I guess that other one's number four. This four in here, of the ones Daryl gave me last year. I've got my red that he gave me, because I've got one red there, and the other red's right there. One's from somewhere else, and one's from Daryl, so I know I still got it. I still got it. <clears throat> but, it took me a couple hours. Like I said, put a new light in here. Ran a power cord here. Food, water, pine shavings, nesting box. It's up to them from here on out. There's another little one. There's the other white one I got from Daryl. Yeah, here it comes. There's some pretty birds, ain't it? They're half white homer and half regular homer. <clears throat> I want to say again, appreciate you guys watching my videos. I know you didn't really learn much today, but if you didn't learn one thing, you can make nesting boxes, decent nesting boxes out of almost anything. This is just a couple uh, leftover pieces of fence panels that I had from when I built a fence a couple months ago. And it's about 37, 38 degrees a day. Luckily, it wasn't too cold up in here. I was able to get a lot done. Everybody's coming in. Come on in, everybody. <clears throat> I wonder how long it'll take them to realize, hey, let's start making babies. It's like Rocky Ridge Kettle and Loft. I bet, I bet we're going to have four litters coming by February. Four litters. And everything we got from here on out, I believe, is uh, AKC registered. We got we got the show line, the German show line, and we got some working lines. But uh, beautiful dogs. If y'all are interested, let us know. Let us know. But as for now, I got a lot done today. Um, feel like I got something accomplished. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. I gotta go clean up a mess out in the yard where all the wood that I cut over cut today and the scraps and stuff and put away a couple power tools because they're calling for snow. And I gotta go back to work tomorrow. That's why I was trying to finish it up today because I started another job up in Winchester and I'm working 12 hour shifts. So I'll work tomorrow and Tuesday. I'll be off Wednesday and Thursday, go back Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I'm off Christmas Eve, I'm off Christmas Day, I'm off New Year's Eve, and I'm off New Year's Day. So, it's nice to start a job and get time off right off the bat, right? Right. <clears throat> I want to thank you guys for watching again. If you have any comments, if they're nice ones, share them. If not, keep it to yourself. Um, I really appreciate you guys a lot. Like I said, I just hit my 5,000 subscriber. That was, really, that was really intense in a lot of ways. Pigeons say thanks. And we're going to try to grow this, at least try to double this group. That's, that'll be plenty. If I can double this group over the breeding season, I'll be happy. And like I said, the best thing about these boxes is they're disposable. 
if they're really messed up and dirty at the end of the year, at the end of the breeding season, I'll yank them down, throw them in the fire pit. Ah. Say a prayer for our veterans. Say a prayer for each other. Things are going to get crazy. Things are going to get crazy. But for now, I'm sitting up in West Virginia, watching it unfold, hoping for the best for myself and for you guys. Y'all have a great day.